Hi, we're Matthew and Abigail. Today we're going to talk about helpful tips on how to have successful negotiations. Yeah, you know, chances are you and your spouse probably have something that you don't completely agree on, whether it's um, how to meet an unmet need that one of you have, or maybe an annoying habit that's bothering you that your spouse does. Um, it really could be about anything that has become a source of conflict. And there are one of three ways that we probably are typically responding. Either we're ignoring our own feelings and trying to just, you know, tolerate it for the sake of our spouse, or perhaps we're completely ignoring our spouse's desire over it and going, I don't care, I'm going to do what I want and I'm going to keep leaving the toilet seat, whatever it might be, or we're just ignoring the whole issue altogether. The, the problem with that is that it will tend to surface at some point. And so the, the idea of negotiating is actually trying to consider both you and your spouse's feelings about a situation or an issue simultaneously and trying to find some middle ground and a, a peaceful resolve. That's so good. The first tip is this, be pleasant and cheerful throughout negotiations. That's pretty simple and self-explanatory. The second one is this, do not make demands, show disrespect or be become angry, all right? Even if yeah. your spouse does. So you keep cool and calm. And the Bible tells us in Philippians 2, 3, do nothing from rivalry or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Yeah, and the third thing is, if you reach a, an impasse, a place where you just can't come to an agreement or you can't find some resolve, walk away for a little bit yeah. and then come back to the table, come back to the conversation. If it is, um, you know, about a big issue, maybe finances or, or parenting or, you know, a big life decision that you are just at an impasse, then reach out to a pastor or a trusted friend and get some wise biblical counsel and maybe so somebody who is unbiased and maybe sees a different perspective and can give you some godly insight. So remember um, to don't think you have to do the whole marriage thing alone. Yeah. Reach out to somebody. Don't let something small become um, a big issue in your life. Ask for help. Thanks for tuning in today. We'll see you next week.